My name is Matt Fox and I'm the Director of Photography on a JD Williams shoot and we're in Leon, sunny Leon. Yeah, you know, my dad was in the film industry, he was a documentary cameraman. I think I wanted to do something artistic that was going to earn me a wage. Something creative that was going to earn me some money. I've got a frame, I've got a frame, I've got a shot, just need the artists. While we were doing, um, while I was at college, uh, basically we started, me and a friend started moving into stills photography and uh, then we started making films and you know, it's just how we got through. The people you grow up with, the people you try things with, they're the ones, they're the future producers, the, the future soundmen, the future cameramen, the future gaffers, you know, that's it. The people that you're around when you're at college or, or when you're first starting out, you know, in 10, 15 years time, they're going to be, um, they're going to be your crews, your, um, your, you know, your friends, your colleagues and your employers. Yeah, yeah, really nice, really nice. Just a nice light, nice light, nice light, nice bit of motion, wind in the hair, you know, it's good, really nice. Uh, what is it that inspires you? I think basically sorting out, sorting out problems. I think, I don't think it's a, it's not a particularly difficult, it's not that it's a difficult job. I think if you've got a good eye and you know what you're doing, you can make most things look good. Well, you should make those things, and some things look beautiful, but I think at the end of the day, it's when the shit hits a fan. It's when, when things go wrong, when locations get moved, when it starts raining, it's, it's, it's the strength of character that you show in the sort of times of adversity, that's, that's what uh, excites me. You know, the, the, the best part about our industry is I love the teamwork that's involved. I love the fact that everybody's got their role to play. And if everyone does their role well, then you, you know, you come out with something with, with a really good, really good idea. I think it's very important that people really just concentrate on doing their job well. If we take, if we take literally the bottom twig off, pop it in, the boys can frost it up and it just gives me a, a nice foreground. Yeah, yeah, the lot. So if you could, if we take that off and put this in a stand, Right and then we can just exactly. Yeah. And then the boys are going to frost that up. All right, oh, I'll bring side. your stand down. Two minutes, I'll bring the stand down. Okay, Jed. When it comes to doing commercials, I think I've always been aware of what feels natural in the frame and, and what elements. And I think it's all the mistakes that you get in life which make things real. I mean, if you're if you're filming a set, it's it's the bit of peeled wallpaper, it's the kids' books left on the floor, it's the it's the untidy bits that that work. It's it's the stuff foreground which you wouldn't necessarily dress intentionally which make it feel as though it's it's real and it's not set up you know, do you know what i think the thing about this right is is i have to break it to my electricians that i want them to go all the way to the top of the stairs with a heavy mirror and bounce light all the way down the this bottom bit most important part of the team uh is the camera and that's the one thing, that's the first thing you, le you learn in documentaries is the camera is number one. You always take care of it, you always look after it, and it's always ready to shoot. I'm, you know, I'm sad to leave Leon. I think it's an absolutely beautiful city, actually. And, uh, and it's one of those places that I'm not, I know thousands of people out there have just passed through and, and not really stopped. But actually, you know, you come off the motorway and it's really, really beautiful.